I'm Stephen Foskett, organizer of Tech Field Day and publisher of Gestalt IT. We were thrilled to be involved in NGINX Sprint 2.0 this year, following our participation last year in the very first Sprint conference. Once again this year, our delegate panel of independent technical influencers acted as sort of an in-the-room audience for this virtual event. And how that worked is they joined us uh, live on audio and video for both days of presentations. We listened, we paid attention, we tweeted, we took notes. And then at the end of day one and throughout day two, we were able to react and ask questions on camera of the presenters and of each other. Day one began with an intro, of course, from uh, Lindsay Shaw, but then we dove in with Gus Robertson talking about the transformation of the modern enterprise and how more and more we're seeing uh, data growth and applications evolving to use uh, application platforms that leverage Nginx. We were surprised to hear just how popular Nginx is. I mean, we knew that it was the number one web server, but uh, frankly, the fact that it's involved in pretty much every application processing unit and uh, most container uh, containerized applications uh, came as a surprise to me. But, you know, not really a surprise. After all, we use it here in all sorts of different ways. And frankly, all sorts of modern applications and um, services, APIs, they're all driven by web servers. And if you're going to choose a web server, you might as well choose the one that's lightweight and quick. We also heard from some Nginx customers on day one, uh, Audi and BlackRock. And both of these customers pointed out the fact that uh, although it's obviously a web server, it's also a lot more. So Audi was talking about how it's integrated into their entire, you know, e-commerce uh, environment. And, um, and, and this, for me, was, again, a real eye-opener from Nginx Sprint to realize just how involved Nginx is in modern applications, not just as a web server. Nginx also brought in some partners to talk on day one, including Mark Church at Google and Chris Wright at Red Hat both of whom are actually very familiar to the Tech Field Day community. Uh, Google talked about how Nginx is integrated with uh, Kubernetes and uh, application networking. And of course, uh, Red Hat talked about application modernization as well, since that's really the primary product that they're selling these days. After that, we had our friend uh, Rob Whiteley come up and uh, talk to us about some of the announcements from uh, Nginx. That I think was a highlight of the day because we did get to hear about what the company is uh, delivering next, as well as what the company's commitments are for that kind of delivery. And frankly, this to me was the biggest takeaway. Rob laid out a few commitments that the company is making. And the first commitment was to increase open source development and encourage contribution. Now, those of us who follow open source companies like Nginx always worry that uh, for-profit motive is going to undermine the development of the open source product that we know and love. It was really heartening to hear Nginx call this out specifically as one of their primary commitments. In fact, commitment number one during this event. They also talked about the fact that it's not just using the Nginx web server as sort of a demo of a real paid product or uh, some kind of a model where they just charge for support and everything else is free. It's more of a nuanced uh, situation where they're gonna have open source versions of the product across the, the spectrum. And they're also going to have more um, enterprise ready, uh, enterprise integrated versions that are paid products. So that was an interesting point. Additionally, Nginx talked about uh, con continuing to commit to more open source development having uh, the company get involved in open source projects and supporting the leadership of key projects in the application development space, especially when it came to things like Ingress and Kubernetes and uh, other uh, critical elements of the modern API service. We finished day one with a delegate roundtable where we were able to ask candid questions of Gus and Rob Whiteley live on camera. This was uh, really eye-opening because the delegates, of course, are honest and straightforward and technical people who want to know how this stuff really works and get beyond the marketing. And I was very happy to see Gus and Rob both embrace that and really go beyond their 
uh, you know, sort of canned answers that they had prepared for Nginx Sprint and really be honest about what the product does, what it doesn't do, what it's good for, and kind of where they're going in the future. Day two of Nginx Sprint was Demo Day, which is always a hit with the Tech Field Day audience and, of course, with the Nginx Sprint audience. We began talking about moving from initial deployment to enterprise applications, and then we talked about uh, managing APIs and applications at scale. All throughout day two, we were able to have the Tech Field Day delegates discuss the presentations with the presenters live on camera. And that's exactly what we did with Tom Gamel and Karthik Krishnaswamy. Then we learned about automating application security with Nginx, uh, bringing adaptive app uh, to life with ecosystem partners, uh, building and delivering and visualizing Kubernetes apps, and mastering microservices with end-to-end -end encryption. And of course, we followed that with another discussion with the Tech Field Day delegates. The final thing we learned about on day two was an amazing art installation powered by Nginx called Now Arriving. This is, uh, well, to call it a containerized art exhibit is both literally and figuratively true. And we were thrilled to be able to talk with Kevin Jones and Ben Chaikin after that discussion to learn more about how this art exhibit works and how it leverages modern application technologies in a way that's transparent to people experiencing the art on the ground. We finished day two with a final Tech Field Day wrap up of all of Nginx Sprint, where the delegates were able to discuss among themselves what they learned, what they hoped to hear, and also what they hope to hear from Nginx in the coming year. I've talked to Nginx uh, quite a lot over the last few years, and as I said, I'm a user of Nginx uh, web server myself. And it was really great to be able to talk to the people and the uh, technologists behind this great technology and to learn where the company's going. I can't wait to see what they have in store for Nginx Sprint 3.0 next year.